From Variety.com, Billie Eilish, Kanye West set to headline Coachella 2022, confirming that Travis Scott was dropped from the lineup. Shocking news, Rage Against the Machine has dropped out from the lineup. We also know that Swedish House Mafia is on the bill. They're going to be a headliner or they're just going to be a subheadliner. We still don't know any details. Yeah. Kanye West already headlined Coachella in 2011 and Swedish House Mafia last performed in 2012. Now Billie Eilish will be her first time being a headliner in Coachella, making her the youngest headliner in Coachella history. She just turned 21. Just made a video talking about the predictions. Kanye West, of course, always rumored to be one of the headliners because he loves being at the festival. He's performed in 2007, 2011. He's came out as a guest in 2015. He's came out as a guest in 2016. He did the Kanye West Sunday service in 2019. I can't wait if this is actually true. Nothing has been confirmed by Golden Voice. Nothing has been confirmed. The lineup hasn't dropped. So now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Billie Eilish replacing potentially Rage Against the Machine, which is completely a shocker. Nobody expected this. She wasn't even rumored when like the rumors were floating around and everyone kind of assumed the Rage against the machine was going to come back to coachella they were one of the original headliners in the 1999 coachella they also came back in 2007 and we were expecting them you know it's going to be awesome to see them in 2020 now got canceled and pushed to october then that got canceled and then pushed to 2021 and that got canceled so two years later i think they just no longer want to be part of the act and hopefully they come back or they start a world tour some people are speculating maybe they're dropping out of coachella so they could perform at sofi stadium because we knew that travis scott was going to get dropped we covered in another video after the tragedy at Astro World, it just made sense. Like, and then of course we got the news that Frank Ocean was dropping now and moving his date to Coachella 2023. We didn't know who were gonna be the other two headliners, but we just assumed Rage Against the Machine was gonna be one of them, and they just completely threw a curveball. Now we're still not certain if Swedish House Mafia is gonna be a headliner, which at this point I want to say yes. And the only reason is because Coachella even made a post on their Instagram when they hyped up the reunion to Swedish House Mafia, and they had a reveal with like a whole little video. And I feel like you wouldn't make that big of an announcement. Coachella never really promotes artists before the lineup drops. Like they're never gonna post about an artist coming to the lineup like that early. You know what I mean? So. I think that's almost a lock to be one of the headliners. I was there at the 2012 Swedish House Mafia performance. They played after the Black Keys on the main stage. They actually closed out the night, even though the headliner was the Black Keys on, on the actual poster. Swedish House Mafia ended up closing out the night. There was rain, a crazy laser show. Like I thought it was awesome and they have amazing hits. Like you probably recognize a lot of their music if you're still not familiar who they are. At this point, it's safe to assume that they're the third headliner just because Coachella made an, an entire post dedicated to them. You know, so it's still pretty shocking like I don't know what we're gonna expect now if the headliners just switched around we got three new headliners from the original 2020 lineup now this 2020 lineup the what if this would have been a great year now we have a completely new set of artists and how's this gonna affect the rest of the lineup Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion are we gonna get them in there what's gonna happen with Banda MS I get excited again you know like this might not even happen again but <laughs> let's just keep up let's just stay optimistic on the internet people are losing their minds some people are saying some take my tickets who wants to buy my ticket there's other fans saying that they're excited to finally go to Coachella so let me know your thoughts in the comments below once the lineup drops I'll do a complete breakdown so see you guys at Coachella